All right, well, thought I'd do something different today. <laughs> I kind of just started playing this again on a whim. Uh, I've had really bad luck on Honkai Impact. And uh, I came back to this, and they had some kind of event where they refunded you for every ruby you spent. And I guess that included free ones, because I don't remember buying that many rubies when I played this back when it came out. <laughs> so they gave me, like, 20,000 rubies, so I burnt most of them, and I got uh, some pretty good stuff here. Uh, I know this game is in kind of a divisive period right now, because they've made it a lot easier to get fest characters, but uh, they have this whole awakening system, which is, like, objectively pay to win. <laughs> I spent a little bit of money just now to get him awakened. But I was kind of looking for something else to play. Uh, PSO2 has an update on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. I'll be checking that out. Uh, I actually do get paid tomorrow too, so that will help. Uh, I might try to get some stuff off the, uh, the new scratch card banner on there. But I thought I'd play this today. So I actually got a lot of good characters. I haven't really been keeping up on this game at all. I know that they had a, a WWE collaboration, which I think is really random and cringy. <laughs> I don't have any of those characters I wasn't playing at the time, but I got uh, Ness Keo. I just awakened him. Uh, he's pretty buff. I had my buffed because I already had one of the gold memories. Uh, I actually really like Kenso, and I like Mei Li. Those are some of my favorite melee characters, especially in the attacker group. So uh, maybe I can get them eventually. Uh, I got Mukai as a free bonus. Uh, Orochi was a free bonus. I had these two before. I got Terry. Uh, Terry is probably the one I'll work on next if I keep playing this. Last time I played, I got Hooded um, Jin, Xiaoyu. A couple of these people in here are new too. I got Omega Rugal, Omega Shermi, uh, Orochi Shermi, Orochi Chris. Uh, a couple of these, like holiday characters or whatever. Uh, 2000 Kula, 99K Dash. I just got Leona 96, uh, Gender Bend, Billy Kane, or whatever it's called, Festival. Uh, two Party Coolas, I don't know what the difference is. Uh, Lolly Zero, which I think is dumb. <laughs> and uh, the other Lolly Zero. I got uh, Zero again, Geese, uh, pretty much these three characters, and then Alice. So the problem right now is that people think this game is pay to win, and I definitely can't see how it would be. Uh, it's just, but from what it seems, it seems like this is mostly just like pure end game content. It's just the problem is that in the uh, in the loot boxes they removed the guarantees. There's no more pity. Uh, the pity is basically just a random five star, which I guess has a a pretty high chance. It does kind of uh, doesn't dilute the drop pool as much, but you can't just choose one anymore. So I guess. Say, Ness Keo is one of the characters I really tried to get back when he came out, and uh, I failed. Um, I guess I would have to get, like, four more dupes of him, which is a, a ridiculous amount. Alternatively, you can just go on the cash shop. I believe it's... Uh, which one is it? It's not this one. Or you can just pay a hundred dollars, be a whale, a super whale, and just get this. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, it is nice that they are just letting you buy past that because it would obviously cost way more money to get the exact memory that you need. But it's objectively pay to win, and I think the price should be less. I don't know if they have anything smaller than that, actually. I think the only one that you can guarantee one with is that. And you need these ones for the collaboration fighters. So, like Tekken, uh, Samurai Showdown, and WWE. Uh, you needed this for them. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's kind of like they are letting you buy power, but it's way too expensive. Like, I don't get why it's $100. But I guess with these, I guess you could kind of brute force it. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some gameplay. Uh, not exactly sure what to do.
Sure, let's go ahead and try this. <laughs> I've never done it before, so don't expect too much. <laughs> he just died. Okay, I don't get it. All right, let's do that later. <laughs> I guess if you're not like a certain power level, you just get killed or something. I can see why people are complaining about this then, if you can't even use the one you want. Penalties apply to each fighter individually when including fighters that aren't purple element. So basically I would have to, uh, I would have to grind out more characters to do that because the two that I have are red. That's brilliant. I'm sure they're getting a lot of complaints about this. I'm sure it will get fixed eventually, but I can see why people are pissed off. So what's in the exchange shop? All right, let's give this a shot. Guess I'll bring my uh, most stacked people. Jin Kazama. So, like, I really like the gameplay in this game, but I, I just kind of stopped because it, it felt like you couldn't really get any characters. Now that they fixed that, I'm kind of considering coming back, but at the same time, it seems like they have just added more pay-to-win stuff. <laughs> and I, I don't really see how logistically you're supposed to get all this other stuff. Alright, I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm not really an expert at this game. It kind of was at the start, but I just didn't have the money and dedication to really play this at a high level. kind of dumb how I couldn't keep playing with Keo. I don't understand exactly how this works. Why couldn't I keep playing with Keo? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Just, uh, just go straight into armor. <laughs> I can't believe people take the PvP in this game seriously. It's like, nah, I don't feel like being staggered. I'm just going to one-shot you. I guess you really need a bunch of awakened characters to do this. I like the PvP in this game. The PvE in this game, but not really the PvP. I don't feel like I had much of a chance there at all. Can I, like, refresh or something? Hmm. 
Like, if I could have kept playing as these two, it would have made more sense. But <laughs> it took him out for some reason. All right, well, I guess I need to spend more money to do that. I don't know. I'm at a loss there. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was supposed to do. Besides just buy more loot boxes. See if there's anything cool in here. <laughs> huh. Sure, I'll try this. It's like in PSO2, my gameplay kind of overrides the fact that I haven't spent much money in the game, but KOF, I mean, uh, PSO2 is kind of more balanced around skill. <laughs> just terrible luck on this game today. Everything is too strong for me. I guess they just power creeped it so much. Not really a fan of the uh, the bosses that don't stagger. Guys are pretty close to power level in that too, and I was doing like no damage. They haven't really made it easy to catch up. I feel like they should give more... Uh, like, better cards and things like that. I think that would go a really long way. Kind of like what PSO2 is doing with the, uh... Like, the bad shops and stuff. Like, that That helped me to get my stuff to not be power creeped really quickly. It only took, like, about a week of, of just working hard at it. <laughs> In this game, it's like, you need so many materials. And, of course, the game decides to crash. You need so many materials. You need the uh, the plus capsules, the experience capsules. You need the uh, the cores, <laughs> and now you need dupes of the characters. I, I really want, would be curious to see how they fix it. I, I really like the gameplay in this game, but I can't be dropping a hundred bucks on this every month. <laughs> I spent a little bit on it now because I I have the extra money and I get paid tomorrow. And I'm kind of looking for something else to play. I've kind of been getting burnt out on Hawkeye Impact. Like at least in this game, there's there's more there's more generic builds that you can use that are they're not going to like top the leaderboards or anything, but you can very easily function with them. In, in Hawkeye Impact, the problem I have is that you need like exclusive gear for every character, and it costs a ridiculous amount of money to get even one of them. And they have like 50 characters in the game. <laughs> You know, at least in this game, a lot of the best in slot stuff can be used on basically anybody. So while you're still going to be gambling with loot boxes and RNG, you know, if you get it once or twice, then pretty much everybody is set. You can make a specific team with that gear. Much like I don't think... Uh, Fight and Rage and, or Streets of Rage or 4 are uh, objectively better than the other. It's kind of the same thing with this. There's some things I like about this game's monetization and its systems. Then Honkai Impact 3. But then there's uh, things I can't stand about them. Hawkeye Impact 3, like, I, I like playing that game, but I just, like, I don't see how I could actually gear up more than a couple characters. That's kind of the problem I have with it. Like, at least in this game, I have some of the best in slot cards. Like, he has, uh, he has, like, one of the best in slot under, under the Fest ones, which you would have to spend a lot of money or get really lucky for. And I can always just give that to somebody else. That's what's cool. You would only need a couple sets. I don't think people run a lot of niche builds in this game. You pretty much just use the best in slot stuff.
<clears throat> so you get a max mode cancel when you awaken your character, which I think is pretty cool. It's not just straight stats, which kind of bores me. You actually get a new mechanic for awakening. It's kind of similar to uh, DFO and closers in that regard. <laughs> nice. So all I need to really get for him is his special card, and uh, they're still giving out more rubies for the next few days, so maybe I'll get lucky there. I don't know if you can craft it or not. Knowing this game, you probably can't. In terms of the emulator, I noticed it's running a little bit better, but it's also not taxing my CPU at all, so I think this game is just not optimized for emulators at all. I know some games like this actually do optimize for emulators because they know that a lot of people play them at home, but for whatever reason they don't do that with this. <laughs> it's relatively stable, stable enough to play, a little better than it was doing before. I did just upgrade my PC. <laughs> I definitely powered him up quite a bit. He's not like pay to win tier or anything, but... He's doing decent in PvE, which is all I really care about at this point. Alright, let's knock this out. Maybe maybe we'll try the uh, the next story mode. And I'll make an attempt at getting Nameless, because Nameless is the this channel's namesake. Since uh, K49 is, uh, they basically said he will never come back. I think Nameless is pretty cool in his own right, but... I don't really consider him to be the best replacement. But apparently he's like triple S tier in this game or something. <laughs> Why not? I kind of feel glad that I, I didn't play for so long because they gave me they gave me all those rubies and they made it easier to uh, get a lot of the characters. It was kind of a blessing in disguise that I quit. I don't know if I'll stick with this game. There definitely is a chance I might not come back or stick with it for long, but might as well try it for now. Could I? Ah, oh, here we go. I can make uh, two attempts at getting nameless. <clears throat> Didn't really feel like playing anything else today. Um, PSO2, we're kind of just waiting for the patch. Also, the featured quest today is pretty lame. One of the... Uh, one of the worst ones you can do for leveling up. <laughs> wow. If you haven't cleared these uh, these bonus missions, bonus levels before, then uh, 
You definitely pretty much just max it out with an awakened character. Just pop max mode. Next, let's go for let's go for three tries. We'll go for three tries. Just need fifty two more rubies and I can make three attempts. And I think I'll put my rubies from tomorrow into uh, cards. I have to say I've had pretty good luck with uh, rage quitting free to play games and coming back and having them be a lot better. Well, this game obviously being better is kind of objective because they, uh, or subjective rather, because they did make some questionable changes, but <laughs> I mean, they gave me like $200 in currency just for playing the game, so I consider that to be pretty damn good. It's not like they didn't, like, they didn't improve the game at all. It's just that they kind of went one step forward, two steps back. Like, they made it easier to get the characters because they're all uh, unified. The banners are all unified now, which I think is something Honkai Impact should do. And they let you choose certain ones that will have an increased rate. Like, I actually got a dupe for uh, Ness Kyo before I started this video, which is why I was able to awaken him. I like that system quite a bit. I just don't like that they got rid of the pity. So while it's easier to get the first drop of the characters, you need to get so many more now. And I'm curious to see how they'll fix it because everybody's complaining about it. I think part of the reason why I wasn't playing service games is because I was so busy with mainline projects. And now that I'm not, <laughs> it's kind of nice to have games like this. It's like I picked a good and a bad time to come back. But I guess the worst time to come back would have been uh, the WWE. <laughs> I don't want those characters on my roster. <laughs> I'm not a fan of wrestling at all. I never was into that stuff as a kid. Kind of weird that they don't have, like, Xavier Woods in there because he's, like, a very open nerd and he has a, uh, a gaming channel and everything. <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, the first thing that threw me off when they announced that collaboration. I'm like, where is he? And like, he's probably, like, the only person in those collaboration characters that actually knows what King of Fighters is. <laughs> kind of strangely missing. Maybe they didn't get the rights to him or something or who knows. It's like, okay, you have, like, all these big-name wrestlers, but you don't have the one that's, like, actually a nerd who has probably almost com certainly played uh, King of Fighters at some point in his lifetime. <laughs> you think that would be uh, something you'd go for? Actually, let's, just, let's just go ahead and finish this. It's only going to take, like, ten minutes. PSO2, I ended up just quitting because it's kind of a 
rough time in the game. I know that they, I think they brought back the producer from uh, episode three, which many, myself included, consider to be the peak, which is ironically what uh, the U.S. version is on right now. They're on episode three with episode six patches and updates. And definitely improved the game a lot from when I stopped. It's kind of weird how this is supposed to be Nest style Keo, and he doesn't have any of his Rekkas. <laughs> but the Rekkas are pretty prevalent on the other, like, 500 versions of Keo they have in this game, so I guess they wanted to make it more unique. Uh, considering some of the endgame bosses have uh, the permanent hyper armor, it's probably a blessing in disguise. So it's kind of weird to have like 300 characters in this game and all of them can be awakened and there's just no easy way to do it without spending money. That's what feels really off. Especially with the removal of pity. They also gave out like a thousand rubies today. I think they know that they pissed off a lot of their player base. I imagine some are just pissed because they uh, they spent a lot of money back when the game had didn't have unified banners, which I would be pissed about too. I'm, I definitely dodged a bullet by uh, stopping playing for however long it's been. <laughs> but others are pissed that the game is becoming more painfully obvious pay to win. Uh, they do seem to listen to the complaints. I'm sure that there, a compromise will be reached. <laughs> that wasn't much of a uh, faded battle there, if you ask me. Somehow he armored out of that combo, but he still died pretty quickly.
The also, thing I like about this game over on Kai Impact Third is that they actually let you stockpile stamina, and they are very, uh, very generous with stamina items. You never really feel like you're uh, you're as gated as you are in on Honkai Impact. One of the things I really don't like about that game is that the, the cost of the stamina for like just basic tasks, like just playing through the story mode, which is like just general content, <laughs> it's way too high. Like you can literally, I can literally be out of stamina in like a minute in that game. <laughs> this game I can play basically as much as I want as long as I don't use like a hundred skip tickets on the same level, which will obviously drain your stamina pretty fast. So like I said, there's things I like and dislike about both games, even though they have relatively similar gameplay, skill based. The gear system is very similar too. This one's a little easier to dump money into, just because, not because of it being pay to win, which is pretty much not even up for debate at this point, but because I can actually play it for more than 10 minutes. <laughs> also, I like doing that shit, too. <laughs> I was going to buy the uh, the package to try to get the, the gear for that Bright Knight Excelsis character, but then I realized it's like, I'm going to be able to play for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I decided to try this game again instead. They get endless complaints about how much the loot boxes cost in that game and how little you can play with the stamina. I'm sure they'll come to a compromise at some point. Like, I came back to this game and I had, like, 2,000 stamina. That would probably be enough to, to play this for a day straight. <laughs> I mean, it's not like this game doesn't have time-gated things to it either. But you're gated less by stamina, which is nice. Okay, so I guess I do expert now. Oh, I still have all these to do. Well, that's, uh, that's a lot of rubies to save up. All right, four chances at uh, my namesake, my partial namesake, because K49 is, uh, is dead. Not supposed to remember he exists. Oh, five chances. All right. Sure. Yeah, I'll get this. Uh, I'll get this with the free rubies tomorrow. So let's go ahead and do this. Wait a minute. Go ahead and take them out. Uh. Can I not can I not pick Terry? Okay, yeah, I wanted to work on Terry next. <laughs> uh 
Uh, let's see. Geese. Actually, I just put a ton of points into uh, Mei Li, so... Uh, sorry for the build-up here. I'm not going to get anything, obviously. <laughs> just going to make sure I do this properly. Alright, Mei Li. Uh, Kenso, since he's ready to be awakened. Uh... I don't really use any of these other characters. Sure, K dash, and then. I don't know if Alice is any good. Alright, let's try. Five chances. There's a trash one. Skip. Come on, give me some streamer luck here. Work with me, game, please. No. Clark. <laughs> I don't think there's. I don't think there's a, a single five-star Clark in the game yet, if I remember correctly. They'd be hating on Clark. At least last I checked, I don't know what they've added and what they haven't. Alright, at least it's a gold. So not complete garbage. But still nothing. Alright, last chance. At least until uh, about 21 hours from now. Well, there you go. No streamer luck today. <laughs> so if you want to see what they did, they give you this, which has only five star fighters in it, which is nice, but you can't just select them. So I wouldn't even really call it a pity. I mean, you have a pretty high chance of getting something you don't have, or at the very least getting a dupe so that you can awaken them, which isn't bad at all. I mean, as far as I know, most of these characters are actually pretty usable. But the fact that you can dump that many rubies and get nothing and not even get a, a guarantee is, uh, I think is what is really shady. I don't know how they can fix it. Maybe they could just like, I guess they're trying to balance the fact that every character is in one banner, which is why it's so easy to get fest characters now. I, as far as I know, they haven't really messed with the rates. It's just that every character is dumped in there and you can actually choose which ones you would prefer to get. Uh, that helps. But I guess they're trying to balance it by not giving you a pity. And uh, honestly, if there was a pity, I would probably drop some of my uh, my ad revenue check on this tomorrow. But since there's not, <laughs> I'm not going to. It doesn't really seem like it's uh, it's productive to do that. So tomorrow I'll grab this. And then uh, this is the same deal here. There's no pity. You have a chance to get one of these, but you can't pick which one. So tomorrow I'll do that, and then maybe I'll try to get him again. Whether I record it or not is anyone's guess. I don't know if I'll care to, especially since uh, I just built up to it for like half an hour and got nothing. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's too interesting to watch. So we'll see what happens. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Probably not this game. I'll probably continue the Streets of Rage 4 series since they actually put out another patch. And then probably in the morning when I wake up, I'll see if I can cover some of the new stuff in the PSO2 patch. Playing uh, two service games right now, kind of three, but I'm kind of taking a break from Honkai Impact at this time. Uh, I may get into the 4.0 beta. If I do, I'll show that, but otherwise I'm not really playing that this time. So it's uh, PSO2 is the main service game, and then this is kind of the secondary one, kind of testing the waters to see if I want to come back. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I will see you guys tomorrow.